Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Creations with Christina. Guess what I found today? Another cane company. Okay, yeah, I know. <laughs> anyway, love this paper. Isn't it awesome? And the colors are fantastic. And one thing I noticed with um, Kane Company is their paper, the colors that they use match Paper Tree ink cardstock, like, beautifully. So, so anyway, um, this is an Amy Butler wine, and it's called Lucky Flowers. Got it at Michael's today. Okay, so, all right, let me show you what I'm doing. Another thank you card. I know my last video was a thank you, um, but I have to get, uh, I have to make more thank you cards. I'm running out. So this is the storybook uh, Greg cartridge, and I'm cutting out from the accent frame um, the thank you at two inches, and then I also cut out the accent blackout with um, at two inches also. So um, I cut that out on paper tray ink. This one is um, cut out on the ocean tides, and this one is um, oh what color is this? Lemon tart. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is just adhere this right to the top, okay, and I'm going to use my um, super glue and a piece of scrap paper, and I'm just going to go ahead and put that right on the back, get my pen started here. Be careful I don't rip my letters because they are super tiny and I'll just dab this one on because I don't want to like I said rip my rip my letters and then I'm gonna hear this right to the front of my see I'm already stuck to the paper ah. right to my front of my lemon tart. A little crooked. That's what I like about the two-way glue. It gives you a few seconds, not much, but a few seconds to uh, get that adhered down. Ooh. Isn't that cute? Okay, we'll get this out of the way. So now what I have is also the Ocean Tides, and this is, again, for the Kane Company, Amy Butler Lucky Lucky Flowers, and my, <clears throat> excuse me, my Ocean Tide is cut at um, four and a quarter by eleven, scored at five and a half, and I got a new corner rounder because the, the one from Stampin' Up! I like, it's kind of small, um, but it also leaves these little, like, edges, and, ooh. I probably shouldn't do two pieces at one time. But anyway, it leaves these like little like bumps right on the edge, and I don't like that. So um, I'm, getting, I'm just trying this one out. Um, I never used a paper corner rounder like this before. It's a Fisker's Punch, so it's actually very nice and very easy to, to squeeze. And I'm just going to hear this right now to the front of my card. Before I do that though, I want to see, I'm not sure if I want to tie a a bow or just a straight ribbon going across. I think I'm going to go with a straight, straight going across instead of a knot. I usually, you know, I usually put my knots on. So I'm just going to go straight across the front of the card. Look at the back side. Oh, love this paper. So I'll just get some scotch tape here, and I'll just adhere this down. Like I said, I couldn't decide if I wanted to go the knot or straight across, and I always do a knot, so we'll mix it up and do straight across this time. Okay, and then I'm going to use some dimensionals on the back of this. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is just adhere this down to the front of my card. Okay, and then I'm going to adhere my thank you right to the front of that. And I'm just going to put that straight across going across the top here. 
So there you go. Thanks for watching another episode of Creations with Christine. I'll see you next time. Bye.